When Tyler ventures out on assignment, he needs his equipment to be as compact yet as versatile as possible. So I brought with me today uh, the 5D Mark II along with a few of my favorite lenses. I try to keep my lenses to about to a minimum, um, everything that I can bring with me you know, to the top of a, of a rock tower. So I start with the 7200 2.8. It's one of my favorite lenses. It's sharp at all apertures and all lens lengths. And I'll share with you a host of the other lenses I bring here. I try to carry everything in one hip pack with some various um, belt pouches that I can fit everything in or maybe a water bottle on the side. And that leaves me, um, you know, a little more mobile for hiking and climbing. Uh, in here, some favorite lenses of mine. We have this uh, 24 to 105 f4. It's an L series. I'm a big fan of, of um, excellent image quality, so I, I usually go with the you know with the, the best glass I can. Um, the 50 f1.2 is an excellent lens for low light situations, and I'll use that as we get towards sunset today uh, when I want to keep shooting. You know, even at take the ISO up to 1600, I can shoot a half hour after sunset and still capture amazing detail when there's contrast still left in the sky of a waning sunset. Uh, silhouette will be able to capture the climbers standing on top of the tower, coiling ropes or whatnot. I also have the 24 F1.4, uh, which I'd have to say if I had to choose one single fixed lens um, in the world, this would be the lens. Uh, the ability to shoot wide angle and also at you know, extremely low light situations and then to be able to hand hold it because it's a wide angle lens, you can hand hold it at a very slow shutter speed. You know, I can often hand hold this at 1 15th of a second and now with the 5D Mark II's ability to shoot at high ISOs of 3200 or beyond, um, you know, you can almost shoot in the most dimly lit, very, very, you know, pale dusk light, um, handheld. So that's exciting. Uh, another constant standby with me is the 16 to 35 f2.8. Um, I rely on zooms quite a bit, and the, a, the common setup for me would be the 16 to 35, the 70 to 200, and the 24 to 105. And then we get into a couple of my favorite wide lenses. This is the 14 uh, fixed f2.8 and the 15. Uh, 2 8 fisheye. It allows you to work very, very close to your subjects and yet still maintain the sense of a dramatic environment. So when I'm sh shooting uh, action sports, if I'm shooting skiing or rock climbing or mountain biking, it allows me to work one, two, three feet from the subjects, capture all their emotion, all the energy, but then also tell a story with a very dramatic and wide expanse of background. Um, and if you start going longer lenses than that, you, you lose the ability to be super close and have that energy and have that curve that the wide lenses give. So. Um, I've found that these have been the trickiest lenses for me to learn to use, but the results of it is a sense of, of drama and energy that you just can't capture in any other way. So that's my lens kit for today.